Hi guys, I'm Dr. Alex Pastashek and I'm a urologist at the University of Utah who specializes in men's health. I wanted to take a minute to talk to you about post-finasteride syndrome, since more and more men are coming in with complaints after taking finasteride. While you still don't hear much about it, PFS, as we call it, is something we should at least call attention to. So what is PFS? PFS is a constellation of persistent sexual, neurological, physical, and mental side effects to having taken finasteride. Many men take finasteride to either shrink their prostates, which is usually about a five milligram dose, or to help slow down hair loss, which is a one milligram dose. But based on recent large studies, the risk for PFS seems like it's higher in men to take higher finasteride doses, but there are still men who take the lower dose. Um, some of the symptoms of PFS include decreased sex drive, worse erections and orgasms, and issues with ejaculation. Men can also feel tired and have muscle pain or weakness, and can also have memory or cognitive issues and depressive symptoms. In terms of how many men are affected, that's really not clear at this time, though some estimates suggest that about 1-2% to of men who have taken finasteride can be affected. So why do men develop PFS after taking finasteride? Bottom line is that we really don't have the answer to this question right now, though the persistence of some of the metabolites of finasteride in the brain and body may make it harder for the body to respond to normal male hormones like testosterone. So how do you treat PFS? Right now, unfortunately, there's no proven cure or treatment for this condition, though in some men who have low testosterone and symptoms of low testosterone or hypogonadism, which overlap with those of PFS, testosterone therapy may be something to try. So, to summarize, while PFS is relatively rare in men who have taken finasteride, it's important to know about, particularly since a lot of men still take finasteride for a number of reasons. So while it's a great drug for its purposes, it's really important that men are informed about PFS so that they can decide whether or not they actually take finasteride. So thank you for listening, everyone. Signing off for now. Have a great one.